Former Major League reliever Trevor May has been uploading baseball videos to YouTube. You guys should go subscribe, link in the description. And he just put out his predictions for the 2024 MLB season. So you know I gotta react to them. As the prediction king, I gotta see what Trevor May's cooking in the prediction kitchen that is his YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and put these uh, $10 Apple headphones in and see what Trevor May's got going. It's nice to be on the other side of the predictions for once. I get to actually make comments on other people, not everyone telling me, you're just a biased Mets fan. All right, let's see what you got, Trevor. Here we go. Start Gonna start with the AL East. Okay. The most competitive and it is the definitely the most competitive division in all of baseball. There's no doubt there. In fifth place, the Boston Red Sox. Okay. Yep. Red Sox in fifth place makes a lot of sense. They are right now on paper the worst team in baseball. I'm going to hear out what he says, but definitely agree right now that they're the worst team in that division. And we're looking at a, a good old patented Boston bridge year yep definitely a bridge year this is not a year that they're trying to win at all but this is where they're trying to still build for the future while still being competitive fourth place this might be controversial okay i have another team that has not done much i'm gonna say you're gonna go with the rays the rays and that is the toronto blue whoa oh, I'm so sorry. the blue jays wow hold the phone vladimir guerrero jr yes Bichette. yeah matt chapman who is a very qualified uh. option for them I mean, okay, so they did lose Matt Chapman, and I do think Justin Turner is not better than Matt Chapman. So he's not wrong. They they're definitely got worse there. I'm actually surprised about this one a lot. So I have them taking fourth place. I don't hate it, but I did not see the Blue Jays coming in as the fourth place team. Now, I don't disagree with really anything that he said. They haven't particularly had a good offseason. How much better did this team get than last year? Marginally, if any. Uh, so if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. But I am actually kind of surprised that the Blue Jays are coming out in fourth place in the AL East right now as predictions. Don't hate it. Don't know if that's what I'm going to do either for mine. We're in third place now. Third place. I'm going to say he's going to go Rays. Rays? Yeah, that makes sense. Teams. That makes so. sense. I, and I totally agree. The Rays, this is probably one of their weaker teams on paper that we've seen in a while. Obviously, losing Wander Franco is going to be a killer. We do have Junior Caminero who could come up and play a little bit. Maybe Carson Williams gets called up at some point. They have Randy Rosary and they have Josh Lowe. They've made some good improvements this offseason, but losing Tyler Glass now, their pitching staff is so bizarre because Zach Eflin's awesome and Aaron Savali look great. They have, I mean, they're, they're going to, yeah, they're still going to be good. They're still going to be good uh, say it again trevor to throw teams together yep out of nowhere. here it is every Red time from the minor leagues a lot everybody Red just gets better when you go to the rays that's the secret really we'll say they're definitely still in the playoff conversation for sure playoff picture because yeah, you just said it too trevor in second place it's a tight second place to the end. he's going the orioles Yankees. whoa Juan Soto. wow okay uh i i'm listen as, as a yankee hater and met fan love it trevor stay true to the orange and blue my guy thank you a lot of people have the yankees in first place i think in their predictions i'm still up in the air as to where they're gonna land between them and the orioles i think but second place i mean listen it's totally in the realm of possibility the orioles have done so much to get better this offseason grabbing corbin burns is so big for that team although losing kyle bradish is a terrifying terrifying possibility so I'm not sure about that. I want to hear what else he has to say about the Yankees. Maybe he's doubting their pitching a little bit. I don't know. This Yankee seems really good. And then they added Marcus Stroman, who's going to be their solid. Stroman's a good middle middle rotation. of the rotation arm for sure. Really eat innings. Definitely a really good add. Flops. He has a down year. I'm with you, Trevor. I'm with you, Trevor. Back. Rodon's bouncing back. Last year. And I think Nestor Cortez is going to be solid as a four in a great bowl. Nestor probably drops Yankees down a little bit, second. but and wow. First, we have okay, ball. Orioles. I, listen, I love it. I love the Orioles. The only thing they really needed was a true ace. Yes, they did. They needed an ace so badly trevor they had an aversion so badly so instead they traded a couple of prospects corbin burns being a yeah joey ortiz and dl hall one. easy choice i got rodriguez getting even better yeah grayson's gonna be awesome grayson's gonna be awesome john means was low-key really good to end the to end the year last year like keep an eye out for john means and camden yards is awesome go orioles okay we got the central up next central now let's see what we're gonna see because i think you could get crazy in the al central here in fifth place i have the Chicago White Sox. Yeah, that's... That I'm not even going to pause the video. White Sox stink. Worst team in the division. It's obvious. It's just they're they're not the team. Fourth place. Okay. Close yes, I agree, Trevor. Come on. Don't put the Royals fourth, Trevor. Yes! Yes! Not the Royals fourth. Yes! I love it. Here's what I'm going to say about the Guardians, though. They just always have good pitching, and J Ram's great. Josh Naylor's really good, like really slept on it. I think Bo Naylor's going to be good, and Jimenez is probably going to bounce back a little bit because Jimenez is a solid ball player. Like, he's probably not as good as he was in 2022, probably not as bad as he was in 2023. You find that middle, it's a top 10 second baseman in the league. They definitely need some more help with the bats, but they're always just good. Good, always. Although you're losing Terry this year for 
the first time. The Kansas City All right, Royals. all right, okay. listen, listen. I've been all over the Kansas City Royals this year. I was all over the Rangers last year. I'm not gonna say they're the same, because they're not. Although they do have Will Smith, and Will Smith, I think, has won like the last four World Series or something crazy like that. If you sign Will Smith, you win the World Series. But I love what they've done this offseason. I think this could be a sneaky good team. I wanna hear what Trevor's got to say. Going to continue to build on the year he had last year. I don't know if he's gonna be better than that. Bobby Witt, I'm assuming he's talking about here, yeah. Bobby Witt was pretty I gross. He leads that rotation. With oh no the veteran guys they got it's not talking about Waka, that lugo jordan nice Lyle, yep innings a lot of veterans but veterans that don't have to be the huge producers in order for i this agree i agree i think they've actually built a really better. really Bobby good Jr. team and their bullpen improves as well their yeah, bullpen Anderson, will Smith, i will say last three world Series. their bullpen is what scares me their bullpen is dog water it's dookie there's a lot of not good arms out there there's a lot of fun arms never i'll never give up on carlos hernandez but <sighs> scary bullpen that's where they get into that fourth fifth place it's kind of worry is like how do you end a game with this team and now we're in the final okay two. second place be it's gonna oh, be tigers i'm right. assuming right so tigers whoa <laughs> whoa trevor may is gonna go with twins in second and the tigers in first Ooh, Trevor, that's bold of you, especially as a Minnesota twin, former twin. Be careful. I'm, the Minnesota fan base is loyal. Might turn on you here, but Outside of Pablo Lopez, they are lacking the big dominant guy. It's kind of a... I will a say, big... Pablo Lopez is younger than me, which is like just so f***ed up. I'm 28 years old, turned 28 in January. Pablo Lopez is younger than me? Like what? When did that happen? How? Pablo Lopez is low-key one of the best pitchers in baseball. Like the more and more I dive into him, this is a guy who like, if you can make bets, I would bet Pablo Lopez. Lopez to win the AL Cy Young. Royce Lewis and Byron Buxton are the difference makers, and Correa. Like, if those guys bounce back, well, if Correa bounces back, if Buxton bounces back, they're winning the division easily. That's really it. So that leaves us for our last team. The Detroit Tigers take first place. Tigers in first place. Wow, what's he got to say? Kenta Maeda. is a nice pickup. Flaherty's whatever, but he'll probably be okay. Tariq Skubal is, yep, agree, as long as he's healthy. Totally, totally. There you go, Trevor. Can he get to the Scott, I'll league? tell you, Trevor, she's sharp. A lot, of, a lot of baseball players don't keep tabs on the league as much as you'd expect. Trevor definitely did. And Riley Green. Riley Green's strong. awesome. Riley Green's so good. Feeds off the energy of competing. I think when they start competing, we start to You know what, Trevor? Trevor? I hope you're right. I want to see Javi Baez be back to playing well. I want to see it because it, it sucks how bad he's been, and I know Tigers fans feel it. And let's do so the hopefully they, they do well. Place. The West. Yep. A's. Skip through it. They suck. We know it. Your former team, Trevor. They stink. Let's go to the next team. In fourth place. Though, fourth place. Yep. That's one another obvious one. Set of guys for three years, million. <laughs> they did sign Robert Stevenson for forty million dollars, basically. <laughs> yeah, they spent a lot. Solid, but they don't have an ace. They need a lot of things. If it wasn't for the A's, clear last place team, and Mike Trout needs to request a trade tomorrow. Okay, third place. Here's where we're going. Third, third place. Don't put the Rangers. Play out very similar to Don't put the Rangers. Don't put the Rangers, um, Trevor. I see it ending slightly different. I think he's going to go Astros. I think he's going to go Astros. A couple weeks ago, and I had a different take. The Houston Astros take third this year. Ah! They're going to be ah! there. As they I was half be. right. No! Okay, I was half right. In third place. The Texas Rangers. Texas oh, no, no, <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's reasons behind it. And he's totally I'm right. That. I'm going to say this though. I'm not down the Rangers though. Here's the thing with the Rangers. that's going to separate them is that Wyatt Langford's going to be there. And Evan Carter's going to be there for a full year. And Adolis Garcia and Simeon and Seager and Josh Young and Nathaniel Lowe and Jonah Heim. They're just loaded. The offense is loaded. You're just not really going to be able to, to stop that offense. And we saw that in the World Series in the postseason. Their pitching is going to be a question mark. It was last year too. I, I can't see the Rangers being a third place team. I can't see it. They're one starting pitcher injury away from really he is right though he is Don't right that Trevor. if they get another injury they're going to be in trouble who was so clutch for them in the playoffs now he is still unsigned and this good is point still montgomery is still unsigned so maybe he comes back but they're not really spending money because of the tv contract stuff so i have it coming down to the wire mariners and astros between the mariners and the astros inevitably i think it's gotta be the mariners yeah definitely definitely he's a washington guy i think he grew up a mariners so fan so he's putting his biases away at the plate where they added a good array of switch hitters and lefties yep. and righties and they have Mitch Garver now. Mitch Garver's Raleigh, a nice pickup. I like that. Now at second base. Jorge Polanco is a big pickup as well. I think that's a really good move. Very, very nicely. Polanco creates opportunities 
for Julio Rodriguez to get the pitches to him. So they have a future yeah. MVP. Blanco's going to help Rodriguez for sure. They got JP Crawford. J Rod is sick. He's going to be an MVP. And then you add Polanco in there. Okay. 115 OPS plus. Solid. Well Jorge played. Polanco was just Eduardo Escobar, just like when Eduardo Escobar was in his prime. It's kind of crazy. They're a very, very tough team to beat. So Mariners And their pitching is disgusting. The their pitching is the disgusting. Astros. And yeah, he's going Astros. And then press it. And yeah, the way the Astros bullpen is built is very similar to that 2015 Royals team where it was Greg Holland, Telvin Herrera, and Wade Davis. Not in that order. It was Herrera, Holland, Davis. 7-8-9, you didn't score runs. The game was over if you were losing going into the seventh. So the Astros built very similarly, like he said, with Abreu, Presley, and Hayter. That's going to be nasty. I will say uh, the Astros are still so, so good. The starting pitching may be a little bit of a concern, but they're still so nasty. I, I was blown away. That yeah, I really thought Hayter was going to be a Ranger, to be honest, because I thought they could could use a closer, a real one, even though LeClerc was great. Hater is awesome. Ooh, NL West. Okay. Yep. Rockies, easy. They stink. Move on. Fourth place. Uh, here's what I'm going to say about the Padres, is I think they're better than the Giants right now. Right now on paper, I think they're going to be better than the Giants. Tatis is, is too good to be as bad as he was last year, even though he wasn't that bad. Machado is going to bounce back. Hassan Kim's a dog. Bogarts still can hit. Moving him to second base, I think, is actually such a smart decision, even though you gave him one of the worst contracts possibly ever in baseball history i don't know the padres i hate them because they traded soto like that was i don't know it's just so lame to me especially with what you got back but i don't know if they're my fourth place pick right now i don't know they lose that lugo and they add he is right they didn't really add much this is a team that disappointed and then got worse so san francisco giants, giants in third place. is completely fair i think that's fine i think these are the third fourth place teams right now based on what we've seen but not as optimistic as them i think michael conforto is their dark horse let's go conforto i am rooting for conforto i hope he does year. well he i hope so i think flashes of it last year but definitely did well in that park He'll be healthy this year. Shoulder injury. But in second, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks. A lot of people. Diamondbacks in second. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the easiest division probably to predict in baseball because the Diamondbacks are the second best team. Clearly, the Dodgers are clearly the best team. Honestly, Trevor, I don't think I really need to watch much more on the National League West. Let's just move to the Central. And then we got the National League Central. Here we go. Central now. Central. Pirates. Ooh, interesting. Interesting for the Pirates for last place. Uh, I don't hate it by any means. Then in fourth, we have the Milwaukee Brewers. This is tough to say at the moment disagree either with this Hoskins, don't disagree but they're also kind of the rays of the national league where you look at their lineup always not great and then they end up being a playoff team somehow just behind the st louis cardinals in third Ooh, Cardinals in third time. place. Whoa. Yeah, I actually thought he was going to have the Cardinals high. Whoa, so that means the Reds and the Cubs are going to be battling out for second and first. Okay, Trevor, tell me why. Paul Goldschmidt and they no do have Arenado. Goldie and Arenado. Nars, They're great. Nars Lutbar. Lars he said Tyler O'Neill. The they don't happen, but that's okay. The Lars Lutbar is a dog. Mark. Starting rotations, a bit of a question mark. Their rotation sucks. Uh, it's not a question mark. It sucks, but I I think he's being nice, like saying it rather. I don't think he can say people suck. Like that probably is a weird thing as like, a former major leaguer. Sonny Gray is a good addition. The rest of that rotation is dog water. That's what scares me about the Cardinals. And that's what scared me last year. And I should have stick with my guts instead of being a sheep and following everyone else who was like, Cardinals, Cardinals, Cardinals. Been saying it all offseason to my friends. I don't know. I feel like LeBron James now. Before the game even started, I said he was probably going to score 70. When he got to like 70, I, I was like, well, he might as well go for 80 now. But yeah, Cardinals, the pitching is what's going to be the difference for them because their lineup is obviously great. And Ali Marmol sucks. So who's going to be second? I think he's going to go. Whoa. Wow. Trevor. Dude, these are some hot takes, man. Cubs in second means the Reds are in first. Damn. His number probably Dang. a little bit and they eventually get there. They use spring training as leverage for that. I will say if they get Bellinger, I think like they're probably the favorite in the division. Imanaga was a great Nathan signing. Is the the problem is how much better did they get? Pitching. Debatable, speed, debatable. The Cincinnati Reds, Reds in first. I mean, I love being aggressive here. Love being aggressive. I will say he mentioned it briefly. I didn't speak because I'm stupid and I have a slow brain. I love the Jamer Candelario signing. I think he's going to have a huge year. The guy just probably going to put up 30 home runs in that band box and they have so many good young players. Players, which he's going to talk about now. MVP, Ellie, McLean, Spencer him. Steer, you know, Encarnacion Strand, Marte. It lists Diaz like 100 guys. Like it it's their pitching. It's their pitching. What's it going to look like? They have Diaz, who's a quality Here he closer. goes. A Alexis is great. They're getting better. And then the rotation. Nick Lodolo. So nasty. Lodolo's nasty. 
cannons for arms. So I mean, fun, fun fact. Talking to guys when I when we were the official podcast of the New York Mets, asking them who are the toughest pitchers to face. Nick Lodolo came up a lot. And when I spoke with Trevor even off camera, he told me that when they face the Reds, everybody came into the dugout and normally they're like, I got to read on this guy. I can tell you this or that. They're like, I don't know what is happening with Lodolo. He's disgusting. So if he's healthy, he has the ability to be a dominant pitcher. Green and Ashcraft. I think they're good. And I think they win that division. Green, and Ashcraft. They can have a fun team. NL East, as Here we go. NL East. Mets. Where you got the Mets, Trevor? Where you got them? Absolutely crucified for this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something tells me I'm going to be crucified. Uh-oh. What did you do here, Trevor? What did you do? Uh, the Miami Marlins. Now, when I yes! recorded this couple Yes, Trevor! Yes! Boom, 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 boom. I'm riding the Marlins in last place all year. They're just... This team is not that good, guys. I'm telling you. They're not that good. The there Alcantara, he is. And then all the yes. Guys who throw like an Alcantara. Yes, yeah, Sandy can't be there because he's hurt. They're going to hang around. I just don't know if they're going to be able to score runs. I think they're going yes. to have to them together. Yes, I'm Trevor. getting beat in really close games I'd, quite a bit. This year. Yep, Third totally. Plays are very interesting. I think it's gonna be their bullpen last year too was like crazy out of control, good, and there's just no way they're gonna do that again. Two teams that might have the same. Okay, fourth place, fourth, fourth place. place. Washington Nationals. I think Nationals. Get better. Yep. I think, win, I think the Nationals could be a fourth place team. I've been very optimistic year. about them. Makes, makes Mackenzie Gore is gonna be good. Yep. Josiah Gray is a solid pitcher. Yep. They still have all the power arms in the bullpen. Kiber Ruiz is kind of under the radar. Is a really love Kiber. Kiber is gonna have a great year. But I think that I can buy this season series against the third place team of New York Mets. Oh, you think we're going to have the same record though, Trevor? <laughs> the Mets just Dude. <laughs> That's funny he include like he included someone roasting him. I don't think they're going to have the same record as the Nats. I hope they're not going to have the same record as the Nats. But yeah, I think the Mets are definitely the third best team in this division. I think a bridge year is definitely safe to say for the Mets. They're just trying to figure out how we're going to execute our philosophy. And that takes a year or two. They're totally. I agree with it. Listen to the Mets Up podcast if you want to hear more sane takes about the team. Link in description. We'll have all of these guys sign. Any of these guys have career years, then we're talking about being there at the end of the year. Correct. So starting pitching, Correct. I'm uncertain about, you know. Pitching is so scary so right now. But pitching is super scary. And then I'm with you. Second place, it's Phillies. Anybody. Second place is the Philadelphia Phillies. Yep, Phillies. Okay. So we know how this ends. It's going to end with the Braves then. I'm just going to fast forward through this and let's get to like some playoff predictions. So he's going to give us who's making the playoffs. Dodgers, Reds, Braves, Reds, Reds. Phillies, yep. Arizona, Phillies, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. AL, Orioles. Astros. Third seed, Astros. Tigers. Okay. Seed, oh, yeah. Tigers have to be. They won the division. Seed, Mariners. And then the okay. Seed, the Rays. Yeah, Ooh, the no Mets Rangers. No Rangers. Playoffs. Wow. Okay. Buckle okay. Up, boys and girls. Reds over the Cubs. Phillies over Reds the over the Cubs. The okay. The Rays. I don't like the Phillies over the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks took them down in a longer series. I'm always going D-backs. Tigers, though. Whoa. The Mariners the beating the Yankees. The okay. We We're moving quick here. We're moving quick winning. here. A series against the Phillies in the playoffs. Okay, the I can see that. Beating the Dodgers. Reds beating the Dodgers. Uh huh. Or yeah, the Trevor. Tigers what? And the Tigers beat. Tigers. The Tigers beating the. What is happening here? What is going on? I need to pause because you're making me. I gotta take a deep breath, Trevor. I gotta take a deep breath. As someone who gets roasted for their predictions, I don't think I've ever done anything like this, have I? I swear to God, if it's Reds Tigers World Series, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna punch a hole in this wall. ALCS. Okay, ALCS. Tigers. Okay. And the NLCS, I have the Braves over. Okay, the all right. World Series. We're getting to a, at least a place that makes sense. Orioles, World Series champions. Wow. Okay. World Series champions for the Orioles. Totally in the realm of possibility. And that's what they're playing for this year. They want to be World Series now champs. Let's talk about individual awards. Awards. You could get hot here, Trevor. You can get hot on the awards. I'm cool with it. Similar direction to Corey Seager. I got Gunnar Henderson. Oh, World Series MVP. I don't care. Whatever. Sure. That's fine. But the playoffs are great. We love that. We love those awards. What we want to know, though. What about yes. the regular season? Regular season this is where you can make some money and make some bets. What do you got, Trevor? Because why dark horse, I like it. I love a dark Cy horse Young pick here. For the Cy Young. Is Mitch Keller. He is Whoa. this close from truly breaking Woo. out in a big way. Cy that is hot. Contra, that is hot. Where things click, but those 200 plus innings, he's those not wrong. He's not wrong. He does have the stuff that could lead to this. Sanga. I Yamamoto. can see it. Then your NL Whoa. MVP, and Senga and Yamamoto as other guys. Between Mookie Betts, NL MVP. And Austin Riley. 
with Austin Riley fighting. Yeah, I, a I, lot of people, I, I think a lot of people are going to have this Austin Riley pick. He's sick. He's really, really good. I think they're in the similar situation of the Dodgers. There might be too many good players where, what, what can you spread around? Like, Matt Olson hit 50 home runs last year, drove in 100 runs, was disgusting, and lost to Ronald Acuna. Is Acuna not going to have a same year? How does he not win it again? I don't know. We might, we might get into some weird stuff this year because there's two mega teams offensively the in the AL National Cy League. Young, top three. Cole, A.L. Cy Young. Luis Castillo, Cole Reagans with Luis okay. Castillo taking... Ooh, Luis Castillo, I like it. He's going to win it one year. He has to. He's too good. I love that call for Luis Castillo. And gets the edge Definitely. That way and leads the league at innings. I think that's how he gets the Cy Young. And on the outside looking in, Corbin MVP? Burns. And the AL MVP. MVP? J-Rod. How's he going, Big Mariners? That makes sense. I mean, he was high on the Mariners. I did. I want cherry pie written in the comments. Well, you guys can write cherry pie in my comments as well, too, then. And that means the video is over. Trevor, these predictions were crazy. Uh, welcome to the YouTube world of making predictions. I got to imagine your comment section is just absolutely insane right now. Let's see how you do. We know my predictions are going to come out right before the season starts. So remember to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out. Go subscribe to Trevor May's channel down in the description as well. Uploading baseball content over there. Former major leaguer. Awesome dude. Friend of the channel. Go show him some support. And yeah, Orioles World Series champion. Reds and Tigers making a little bit of a run. I don't know about that, but we shall see. That's why baseball's amazing. Crazier things have happened. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Appreciate you. We're coming with the content. I know I'm seeing the comments of like, Mark uploaded four times in a week. We're moving. We're doing work again, and it's good to be back. Thank you guys so much for the amazing support. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another video or whenever it comes out. Bye.